Now, some of you men, I hate to say this, but some of you men, I don't know how you made the choice you made. And you are living with the consequence right now. You dread going home because you don't want to hear that flapper going off. My mother used to call them bell clappers. You do not want to hear that bell clapper because it will clang and clang and clang and clang all day long. My husband and I used to joke and say, nag, nag, nag. We were joking. Some women out there are not. And you have to live with it because you made a poor choice. Okay, you have a woman. I don't, if you're dating, hey, check it out, listen, and if you see those signs, run. If you see them doing it to their relatives, to their little brother, their little sister, you run. You cut that thing loose because if it's that bad and they're trying to give you the best side, imagine how bad it's going to get when they marry you. You will never be able to do anything right. You're always messing up. I don't know what's wrong with you. You're always messing up. You can never hold on to a friggin' dollar. You can't even hold on to a nickel. When was the last time you had a real job? I wish you were a real man. If you were a real man, you would handle that. We wouldn't have to go into debt. Because of your inability, your lack of abilities. You are such a loser. Whoa, Nelly. You married that. How did you miss this? How did you get past this? Were the boobs that pretty? Was the sex that high? How did you get past that? That nasty attitude. And now you come home. Well, how much did you make this time? Am I going to have to borrow from my mother again? I don't know why I married you. You are so disgusting. And then you want to touch me? I want to have sex with you. I want to have sex with a real man. and Not the likes of you. Oh, get out of my face. I want to go hang with my friends. I'm so sick of you. You want something to eat? Go order it. I'm not cooking for the likes of you. And here I am trapped in an ugly marriage with a sorry, sorry rendition of a man that doesn't even know how to spell the word. I <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. If you hear anybody, if you're dating someone, young men, or old men for that matter, and you hear them talking to their children, their parents, their brother, sister, whoever, you hear any of that kind of nonsense coming out of their mouths, boy, you better get in your car and take off like a bat out of you know where. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Don't even stop to say goodbye. Just get. Because <laughs> you're going to have hell to pay if you marry that. Listen. That's what the dating process is for. Listen. Not only listen to what's said and how it is said. Listen to what is not being said. Mother has spoken. 